Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and I've got a very special video for you for today. Today we are going to be taking a look at a brand new kit from DOS Work in 35th scale and this is actually the very first prototype of it right here all built up. This is the Vomag. This is 35th scale too. This monster right here is 35th scale. This is the 88 millimeter basically flak bus. Uh, it was built on a bus chassis with this 88 millimeter gun. I mean, it's longer than a Tiger. Uh, just a really cool, interesting vehicle. Uh, and real, too. They really did make these. I can show you a picture right now of actually one from World War II in this picture right here. Uh, and Dos Work has decided to come out with something like this. And this is wonderful because you don't normally always see these unusual vehicles, uh, us unless they're in resin, and then they're kind of tough to build. But this is all an injected, brand new, 100% mold styrene. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this over to the bench and I'm going to show you a close-up. Remember, this is the very first prototype. So some of the extra detail is not in here yet. Uh, but I will show you the sprues for the updated version of it so you can see a little bit more what it's going to be like. Now this kit is uh, fully announced. In fact, it's up for sale on our website, andyshhq.com. And actually, if you go on there right now, we have a special pre-order sale price on this of an additional $10 off. $79.99 for this one if you pre-order it. And it is due to arrive the first week or two of January 2024. So uh, not too, too long off at all. In fact, uh, from what I understand, it's going into production within the next couple of days. So it's great. We'll have this uh, just, just after Christmas. So, but really cool looking vehicle and I'm excited to take it over to the bench and show you guys uh, what it looks like close up. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's uh, first take a look at the prototype. And uh, this is the very first uh, prototype that was made for this kit. So it was just put together and sprayed with uh, Mr. Surfacer gray primer just to kind of even out everything. But this is a good way that you can take a look and see how the kit is progressing along. Remember, prototype, so there is some detail that is still gonna get added onto this, but um, you'll be able to see a little bit more of that when I actually show you the uh, the. Uh, sprues because the sprues are an updated version of this here. First of all, because this was a prototype and this did a little traveling, this went to IPMS Nationals as a little sneak peek in Texas. So a lot of things got glued down that would normally work on this kit. Uh, one thing that didn't get glued down were these sides. So the sides fold down on both sides here, just like that. And there's a big photo, eight, photo etch photo eight, photo etch grill on there on each side. There also are some outriggers underneath here. I'm gonna carefully turn this up on it. You can see them right there on the bottom. They will both fold out that if you wanna put this in a firing position, you'll have the ability to do that. There's also a jack up in the front here. You can see that. And then a jack in the back along with the cable reels and things like that. That would be the way that they would you know, support this vehicle. They'd put the outriggers out, put the jacks up right there to totally support this vehicle because of the 88 is got quite a bit of kick. One other quick thing uh, before you guys uh, comment in the, uh, the, the video here, uh, this little piece right here is the bracket that gets mounted here. It got mounted in there and then at the show it got knocked up. So rather than trying to take it all apart, which I guess I could, the bracket he is supposed to be attached to the actual base. It's not the way the 88 is there, but uh, someone will definitely say something about it, but I want to point it out before we do. Now, the uh, the stowage bins will all be openable in the back here. This is a brand new 88 gun too. This is not a repop of either AFE Club or Drag or anything like that. Completely new tooled. Uh, it'll be, it can obviously go up and down. You can rotate it. So there's all kinds of diorama possibilities that you can do with this here, so. What I'm gonna to try to do is get this on a turntable. It's pretty big, but uh, I wanna give you a, a quick little 360 of the whole vehicle. Okay, here it is. Here's our 360 of this vehicle. First off, obviously I've told you earlier, all of the side things uh, come down. Hatches all are openable on here. We've got the cable reels in the back. The hatchback here is also uh, able to be open. As you come around here, 
there is benches in the side here and benches up here and you'll notice all of the German rifles. There's uh, eight rifles that are included with this and that would be for the crew that are manning this. I think the doors are able to open too. Yes, the doors are able to open and you can just see it's just a massive, massive vehicle here. And a quick little up above shot of what the uh, the model looks like. You can see, even though it was a prototype, it already had the diamond plate inside there. We've got this stowage rack back here and a little bit better view of where the benches would go. There's a fold out bench right here in the middle that you can either fold either way, either stowed like it is right now and actually both sides will open up and that is to get more access for the crew inside there. So you can see it's a really cool, massive vehicle. And I think it would go great in quite a few different dioramas there. So now that I've shown you a close-up look at what the actual prototype looks like, let's take a look at the sprues. Okay, guys, let's jump right in and start taking a look at the plastic parts on here. We'll start off with the B sprue right here because this one was on top. This is the floor texture. Let you see a little bit closer view of that. Here's that back deck with the wooden slats. That's where the stowage is up on there. And then part more of the, the floor of the vehicle as well as the double hood, meaning that this is underneath, this stacks up on top. I should also point out too, uh, dimensions wise, because uh, I told you earlier that it, it is a very big vehicle. Well, the actual size is just under 13 inches or about, it's about 32 centimeters in, uh, in length on this vehicle and you can see that based on this sprue here this is our frame sprue so you've got this massive frame right here and there's the other side up there got some slide molding done here those are the outriggers that I was showing you about earlier and then this is the framework for the photo etch pieces that go on the side there the little fold down thing and that's that's a fighting position they'll fold that down and that is so the crew can stand on that as they walk around the 88 gun so there is our f sprue and the sprues are kind of just going to be coming out of the box kind of willy-nilly there's not really any specific order for them just as how i grab them this is got some of the the hatches on here it appears we've got our long tailpipe here for the exhaust more of it up here looks like there's the pan for the uh the engine there is our c sprue next up we have the n sprue which you will get more than one of this particular sprue so uh we've got our rifles down here this is the bracket uh or not bracket I, well it's kind of like that this goes inside those those stowage bins in there that's where you'd put the 88 millimeter shells and because it's able to be open you can have that displayed like that got our our double leaf spring suspension up front and some of the other parts there's parts for the cable reel and because it's suspension you are going to get two two sets of the in sprue Next up, we have our, what is this? This is G sprue right here. And we've got our big Vomag. And I know someone's gonna point it out too. In German, it'll be pronounced Womag. But um, <laughs> in English, it, it's probably better with my terrible German accent just to say Vomag, so. But you do get the, uh, the symbol right there. And this is all the other detail stuff. So we got the steering wheel. some of the other detail parts like that. Here is parts of the, uh, the cab. You can see how the doors are all able to get open on this. And this is, I believe, the pedestal, the underneath pedestal for the 88. And speaking of 88, here is part of the 88. One thing you're going to notice with this kit, there is a lot of plastic in this kit. There is a lot of detail. And as I said earlier, this is a brand new, uh, brand new piece. So everything is 100% brand new tooling. We've got slide molding for some of our barrel parts. Here is the pedestal base and the actual gun barrel with the tip that is slide molded right there.
Now we're going to take a look at the uh, the wheels and tires. Uh, there are two sprues of the A sprue here, and uh, Dustwork went with a stacked uh, wheel, so you can see the individual tread right here. This way, when you build it up, you get a really nice detailed tread pattern. Uh, yeah, look how nicely detailed that is. And you can see how the tread is kind of zigzag back here, and that's how you'll stack it all together. So, like I said earlier, there are two sprues of your A sprue. Lots of wheels on this vehicle. There is a engine in this vehicle as well. So we've got our radiator up front here, and then this big, big 12-cylinder engine. There's our engine block, front fenders, and more of those uh, stowage bins for the 88 millimeter rounds. So there is our D sprue. Here's some more of the 88 millimeter gun. This is the part of the cradle. You see the detail on that. There we go. And even more part of the cradle. Here's the L sprue. And this has got all the little, little detail parts for the 88. like that just a couple more sprues we've got uh the u sprue i think that yeah there is two of this sprue in here so we've got some of the 88 millimeter shells and then some of these other parts here uh for the the top of the vehicle here's the uh the jacks right in through here so that is our u sprue and of course you'll get two of that particular sprue and the last plastic pieces are the clear parts. So we've got our front windshield right here, headlights, and look like some of the marker lights over here too. You can see right there. And also the photo etch. So I'll try not to blind you guys because I'm blinding me as I'm trying to film this. But you see you get a pretty large sheet for these things. So these are all get stacked together to create that grill work. But big, big sheet of photo etch. And there is also inside one other little piece of photo etch. Looks like seat belts. Yeah, looks like seat belts inside there. So that is your metal parts for it. Now, normally at this point, I would show you guys the instructions on how this goes together. Unfortunately, I don't have the instructions yet. When the prototype kit was sent to me, it was already built. And when the parts showed up, the instructions weren't ready yet. So, uh, but at least you get to actually see the actual vehicle built up. And I think it looks pretty cool like that. It's a great looking thing. Well, there you go, guys. Cool looking vehicle, isn't it? Very cool looking. Something, honestly, until I saw the prototype uh, pictures uh, a while back, uh, I never actually heard of this vehicle, but it's definitely an interesting, cool vehicle, especially if you've got a big selection of German 35th scale World War II. Uh, you probably don't have one of these in it right there. So, so guys, remember, this is available for pre-order right now. It is $79.99 is the special pre-order price on our website, andyshhq.com. If you want to go ahead and pre-order that, you'll be guaranteed to get one at that special price right there. So, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys as always for watching, and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.